HDMI versus component versus VGA versus DV versus DisplayPort. What are the pros and cons of each of these different display adapters and cables? From what I can understand, HDMI offers the ability to send audio along the same cable as well as the ability to do progressive scan. I've googled but I can't seem to find any real answers. Why would someone care to run 1280 by 1024 over HDMI or DV instead of VGA? What about component? All I hear is one is digital and one is analog, but I can't find what that means from a feature slash benefit standpoint. The nice thing about digital, HDMI and V, is that it is noise tolerant. On an analog line, to get a perfect picture the voltage at the receiver would need to match the voltage at the sender. Noise can get in there and distort the signal. On a digital line, the receiver simply needs to determine if the signal is a 1 or a 0, high voltage or low voltage. Because of the noise tolerance in a digital signal, you can buy cheap cable and it will work just as well as the expensive stuff, don't listen to the pros that try and sell you the expensive stuff. You can also run the signal over a long distance without introducing a lot of noise. Connection types. There are currently four common ways to connect displays to video cards. Depending on what ports your video card has and what inputs your monitor has, choose whichever one you have available or will work the best for your needs. VGA, Video Graphics Array, has been around the longest. VGA is an analog signal, meaning the quality may not be as high as with other cables, especially at high resolutions. V Digital Video Interface has been on graphics cards for many years now, but is still very common. Almost all LCD displays have a V port. Because V is a digital connection, the signal will be higher quality than VGA. There are several different types of V connectors. They're mostly intercompatible, but not always. VA carries only an analog signal, and is therefore rarely useful. VD carries only a digital signal. VI carries both, and can be used with VVGA adapters. VI connectors are the most versatile, as they can be used for either digital or analog signals as necessary. There are also two link modes. Almost all V cables are single link, which supports a practical resolution of up to 1920 by 1200. Dual link cables can support resolutions up to 2560 by 1600, and are typically only used for very high resolution displays. Most, but not all, graphics cards with a V output do support dual linked V. You can verify which type of V your PU, monitor, or cable supports by checking the pins. HDMI, High Definition Media Interface, is a newer port, but is 100% compatible with digital V signals. You can get cheap V and GT, HDMI and HDMI and GT, V cables and adapters, not converters, because there's nothing to convert. HDMI has the advantage of being able to carry an audio signal, but this only works if your card supports outputting HDMI audio and your monitor has built-in speakers can can receive audio over HDMI. In 2009, HDMI 1.4 and subsequently 1.4a were introduced, with some significant changes from previous versions. These cables are backwards compatible, but add new features such as improved support for 3D displays, higher resolutions, and Ethernet over HDMI to allow for network connectivity on display devices. Most of these features will not affect the typical user, particularly when connected to a computer monitor, but are worth noting. DisplayPort is the newest connector. Typically only newer and high-end monitors tend to have DisplayPort. 
it's typically best to only use DisplayPort if both your monitor and graphics card support it, or if you have more than two monitors. If you have more than two displays, RT graphics cards require that you use DisplayPort connectors for the third and any additional monitors. There are converters from DP to V, VGA, and other connectors, but they are sometimes less stable than a regular cable connection. To convert DisplayPort to V or VGA at resolutions above 1920 by 1200, you need an active converter, which are typically very expensive and require an external power source as well. Mini DisplayPort is electronically identical to DisplayPort, but has a smaller connector. It is common on higher-end laptops, and is also found on some video cards. Mini DP has the same caveats as normal DisplayPort. Adapters for DisplayPort and Mini DP are not compatible, because of the size difference. Depending on what connectors you have on your card and monitor and what you need to do, you can decide which of these will work best for your situation. Analog versus Digital For the curious, here are some more details about analog versus digital connections. VGA is the only analog video connector in common use. An analog video signal is typically sent in three components, red, green, and blue, RGB. The color information is sent as a fluctuating electrical current, and the image quality can be degraded if the signal gets disrupted in some way, such as by interference. This is why with analog cables, the quality of the cable can actually affect the quality of the signal. In analog video cables, the information being transmitted corresponds to actual light values for the monitor to show. Digital signals, which include HDMI, V and DisplayPort, send data as a stream of 1s and 0s as represented by pulses of electricity. Rather than having a variable current, only a high and low voltage are sent, corresponding to the binary bits. Interference is less of a concern. Analog cables can theoretically carry information for an infinite resolution, while digital signals are limited by their bandwidth. However, this is rarely ever a problem, and the advantages of digital cables tend to outweigh this possible detriment. This is just a very general overview. If you want more technical detail about how display connectors work, you may want to read the following articles. How computer monitors work, how stuff works. Analog signals, Wikipedia. Digital signals, Wikipedia. VGA connector, Wikipedia. Don't forget that HDMI and DV support HDCP, or High Definition Content Protection. It's a kind of DRM that prevents you from playing your HD content at full resolution. When buying these cables, be sure that they support the HDCP. Then again, you can always go with the analog hole. Also, remember that DV single link and double link differ in the amount of information that they can carry. DV single link can carry a resolution of up to 1920 by 1200, whereas double link can do up to 2560 by 1600, if my memory serves me correctly. The differences can be seen below. About the whole digital versus analog thing, Here's an anecdote to explain. My monitor once had this nasty pinkish slash purplish tone over the entire image, which turned out to be a result of the VGA, analog, cable behind it not being secured properly. A digital cable like HDMI or DV would be able to bypass this problem, because the ones and zeros are either there or not, perfectly or not. There can be no semi-working purple mode. I'm going to add extra information about DisplayPort, especially considering the fact that AMD's iFinity puts this technology front and center. iFinity 
It basically takes one desktop and scales it to multiple screens. So if the 3x1 landscape on the top left is 3 1920 monitors, then it would show a single Windows desktop with a resolution of 5760 by 1200 What makes DisplayPort different from DB slash VGA, HDMI? Now to achieve this, you'll need to use DisplayPort. DisplayPort is a very different technology from DB slash VGA, HDMI. For one, the DisplayPort has more theoretical bandwidth. It uses a packet architecture not unlike USB or Ethernet. HDMI slash DB and VGA are more like sound speakers or I parallel ports. The three color signal wire pairs run parallel with a clock circuit on the fourth pair. DisplayPort's architecture theoretically allows for far greater potential distances. The DP components also cost less and also requires less voltage, 3V versus 5V, and thus theoretically allow DisplayPort only displays to be thinner than displays with HDMI. The most exciting feature of DisplayPort is the ability to combine multiple video slash audio streams, thus allowing displays to daisy chain and USB and Ethernet. Active and Passive Display Port Dongles By far the most confusion part of Display Port is the initial confusion about Active and Passive Display Port Dongles. This was most noticeable when iFinity first came out. To use iFinity, you need at least one display using Display Port. Well if you hook up a dongle to the Display Port on the AMD card, then two monitors on the DV ports, then you should get iFinity right? That depends. There are two ways for a video card to push a HDMI slash DB signal over display port. The first is what is called an active converter. The video card take the HDMI slash DB and encapsulates the signal using display port. When the active dongle receives the signal, it then sends the HDMI slash DB signal to the monitor. Pros you can run a display port monitor and an HDMI signal off that same dongle, along with audio and USB, theoretically. Cons More expensive than passive, not as big of a deal with the introduction of single uplink active dongles. The second method is to use a passive dongle. There is no chip here. The graphics card detects them as and outputs a HDMI slash DV signal over display port. The passive dongle then just clocks it up to the HDMI specs. The problem here is that the video cards capable of iFinity only have two pipelines that can push out the older HDMI slash DB signals. Thus if you use a passive dongle, you are really sharing that pipeline with three monitors. For iFinity to work, it needs more bandwidth. Remember 3x1920 monitors is 5760 across. Thus that is who one of the three monitors has to be powered using the display port pipeline. The quotes are because I have no idea what the real name is or what the heck they exactly do. Note also, active dongles may also require a USB port for power. A common issue is plugging into a USB port with unstable power or the computer just outright making the USB port fall asleep. Z Z Z Z Z Z. More display port fun. This URL. 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 This URL.